1561, an unusual event occurred over Nuremberg. Witnesses reported seeing a vast array of objects in the sky, described as spheres, disks, and cylinders engaged in a battle-like formation. Some accounts mention smoke, fire, and strange colors, all being seen at this phenomenon. It lasted for about an hour, leaving many people bewildered and frightened. Despite various theories, the causes of the celestial event remain a mystery, sparking debates and fascination among historians and ufologists alike. Photos of a boiled egg that now resemble a ruby have gone viral on a Chinese social media platform. The woman who owned the egg received it as a gift from her mother when she was just a child. Her mother had boiled the egg, but it changed color to a dark red. Instead of throwing it away, her mother kept it in a jewelry box. Over time, the egg fossilized and developed a smooth texture with fine cracks. The woman forgot about the egg until her mother found it while they were cleaning. The internet was amazed by the discovery, with some calling it a pharaoh egg. Mrs. Fu speculated that the cold, dry winter conditions might have helped preserve the egg, but experts have not confirmed this as of yet. The 23 Enigma is the belief or superstition that the significance of the number 23 is ever-present throughout the entirety of life. It suggests that events associated with or involving the number 23 occur much more frequently or have special meaning. This concept has gained attention in popular culture, particularly through films and literature. Some people regularly find coincidences around the number 23 throughout their life, leading to speculation about its mystical properties. While skeptics dismiss the 23 enigma as mere coincidence or confirmation bias, Others find it an intriguing curiosity, adding an element of mystery to our everyday occurrences. A peculiar creature has been found with 24 eyes in a muddy pond in Hong Kong, surprising scientists who identified it as a new species of jellyfish. This tiny jellyfish, part of a box jellyfish family, has a transparent body with three long tentacles. What makes it stand out are its 24 eyes, divided into six groups around its bell. Box jellyfish are known for their venomous tentacles, capable of causing severe harm or even death to humans. The new discovery sheds light on the rich diversity of marine life in Hong Kong's waters. The phrase 35.black has become notorious for its mysterious status on Facebook. Users have reported receiving notifications that their comments containing this phrase violate community standards and cannot be shared. Despite its prevalence, little is known about the origin or meaning of the phrase. Some speculate it could be a reference to a website or a code language for illicit activities. One theory suggests that it may have been planted by trolls who then reported it to Facebook, causing the algorithm to flag it. However, this theory remains unconfirmed. Others suggest it could just be simply a glitch in Facebook's algorithm. The phenomenon has sparked memes and jokes, with some users finding humor in the mystery, while others express frustration at being unable to share seemingly harmless comments containing the phrase. In 1980, at a 3M adhesive tape factory in South Carolina, workers encountered a truly bizarre phenomenon, an invisible force field that blocked their path. Even when investigated by experts, the barrier remained impenetrable, with one individual experiencing a force strong enough to prevent movement. This force field was electrically charged and capable of drawing in birds, posing a danger to humans. Experts attribute the phenomenon to electrostatic forces, which can create an invisible barrier under certain conditions. Despite attempts to recreate the event, the invisible wall was not able to be replicated, leaving it a perplexing example of unexplained phenomena in the realm of science. Scientists widely agree that we are currently experiencing a sixth mass extinction. This ongoing loss of plant and animal species is happening at an alarming rate, estimated to be significantly higher than natural extinction rates. 
Human activities such as overhunting, habitat destruction, deforestation, and overfishing are the main drivers behind this phenomenon. While this concept of a mass extinction may be far-fetched to some, it is currently considered to be a real thing we are experiencing, and the evidence supporting it is truly undeniable. In 2011, a mysterious subreddit appeared on Reddit, featuring a cryptic string of numbers and letters as its name. The cryptic string of numbers and letters continued to be generated on the subreddit. Users speculated that they might be a code and attempted to decipher the messages, generating significant discussion on the web. Suddenly, the subreddit vanished without explanation, leaving users perplexed about its purpose and origin. Some believed that it was the work of a hacker or a sophisticated troll, while others thought it was just a game. Despite occasional appearances, the mystery persists. In 2016, a Redditor managed to decode one of the posts and discovered an ASCII art image of Stonehenge. However, the true purpose of the subreddit and its creators ultimately remain unknown, as it continues to appear and disappear sporadically. The Abaka alignment is a peculiar phenomenon observed in certain regions throughout the world, where natural elements align in a straight line across vast distances. This alignment often involves geologic features, such as mountains, rivers, or rock formations, and to extend for hundreds of miles without deviation. While the exact cause of the Abaka alignment remains a subject of speculation, some researchers suggest it could be attributed to tectonic forces or ancient cultural practices. Others propose more esoteric explanations, linking the alignment to the Earth's ley lines or the magnetic fields. Despite the various theories, the Abaka alignment still continues to perplex and interest those around the world. Biblical angels are often depicted with beautiful faces and angelic wings but these don't quite match up to their biblical descriptions. In the Bible, angels appear in more formidable forms. The word angel originates from the Greek word meaning messenger. In the Bible, angels, or malachim, served as messengers of God. They were human-like, but weren't described as having wings. Early Christian art portrayed angels as wingless, human-like beings. However, in the fourth century, artists began depicting them with wings, despite no biblical mention of these wings. Cherubim, often shown as cute, chubby children with wings, are actually described as having four faces, straight legs, four wings, and bull hooves in the Bible. Seraphim, the highest ranking angels, are depicted with six wings and associated with fire. They're not guardian angels, as commonly believed. Orphanim, described as beings with wheels covered in eyes, aren't considered angels in the Bible, but are close to God's throne. The disparity between popular angelic depictions and biblical descriptions may stem from the angel's incomprehensible nature to humans. They exist outside of time and space, making accurate representations challenging. Despite their intimidating biblical forms, angels serve God's purpose and act in humanity's best interests. In 1947, Admiral Richard Byrd embarked on a mission to Antarctica called Operation High Jump. Is there any unexplored land left on this earth that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Strangely enough, there is left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. This is a tremendous So challenge. there's a lot of adventure left down at the bottom of the world. It's believed that following his passing, his son published his diary, revealing a curious flight over the Arctic. Bird's log detailed encountering unusual weather and flying over mountains, forests, and even a green valley with a river. He claimed to have spotted mammoth-like creatures and disc-shaped aircraft with swastika markings. According to Bird's account, 
He flew into the North Pole's opening and discovered Agartha, a utopian society within the Hollow Earth. The concept of Agartha dates back to ancient legends found in various cultures, depicting it as a place of advanced beings possessing wisdom and technology beyond human understanding. Bird described encountering a man from this inner world, who warned of the dangers of atomic energy and humanity's impending doom. Upon his return, Bird was sworn to secrecy and debriefed by security forces and medical personnel. The significance of Bird's experience remains unknown, prompting speculation about the Hollow Earth theory and extraterrestrial life. Advertisers have long been masters of persuasion, but the notion that ads can read your mind may seem like something out of science fiction. However, advancements in technology and data analysis have made it increasingly plausible. One way ads seem to read your mind is through targeted advertising algorithms. These algorithms analyze vast amounts of data collected from your online activities, including your search history, social media interactions, and browsing habits. By understanding your preferences, interests, and behaviors, these algorithms can accurately predict which products or services you might be interested in purchasing. Moreover, the use of cookies and tracking pixels allow advertisers to follow your online journey across different websites. This enables them to deliver personalized ads tailored to your specific interests and preferences, creating the illusion that they really know what you're thinking. Additionally, voice recognition technology and smart devices have further blurred the line between reality and science fiction. Devices like smart speakers and virtual assistants can listen to your conversation, analyze your voice commands, and use that information to serve your relevant ads. While it may seem like ads are reading your mind, it is important to understand that they're simply leveraging sophisticated technology and data analysis techniques to predict your preferences accurately. However, the concerns about privacy and data security remain valid. In recent years, scientists have made progress in understanding how new brain cells are born in adult mammals. This process, called adult neurogenesis, happens in specific areas of the brain, like the hippocampus and the ventricles. Researchers have found special cells that can actually create new additional cells. These cells are kind of like stem cells, which can divide and create other types of cells. Scientists use certain markers to identify these special cells. There are different ideas about these special cells and how they work. Some think they're what are called quiet cells that wake up to create new cells, while others think they're more active cells responsible for making new brain cells. However, there are still many things we don't know. We're not sure if there are individual cells in the adult brain that can make both new cells and renew themselves. Also, we're not sure where these different types of cells come from or how they're related to each other. Technology limitations make it hard to study these cells in humans, but obviously scientists are currently still working on ways to do this. In certain belief systems, time periods are divided into what are called eons. Each eon is said to have its own characteristics and themes that shape human thought and behavior. For instance, one eon might emphasize feminine qualities, symbolized by a goddess figure, while another might focus on masculine energy, represented by a god. These eons are believed to influence how societies develop, the values they hold, and the types of spiritual practices they engage in. The concept of eons is often associated with esoteric or occult teachings, where it's believed that humanity progresses through these different epochs as part of a larger cosmic cycle. Some interpretations suggest that we are currently in the midst of a new eon, characterized by themes of individualism, self-discovery, and spiritual awakening. This idea of shifting eons reflects a broader perspective on the evolution of human consciousness, and the changing dynamics of our collective experience over time. In ancient times, ether, often called the fifth element, was believed to fill the universe beyond Earth, explaining natural phenomena like light propagation and even gravity. 
However, experiments like the Mickelson-Morley experiment challenged its existence. Originating from Greek mythology, ether represented pure air or the essence of the gods. It evolved into the fifth element concept, separate from earthly elements, with Aristotle attributing celestial spheres circular motion to it. Medieval scholars thought ether had different densities, with celestial bodies denser than the rest of the universe. Alchemists believed in its healing properties, incorporating it into the medicines available. In the 18th century, ether theories emerged to explain electromagnetic and gravitational forces. Newton used it to align with his physics, but later advancements superseded these theories. Some modern physicists explore similar concepts like dark energy. Luminiferous ether proposed that space was filled with ether, transmitting light vibrations through tiny whirlpools. This idea influenced early light wave theories, but was replaced by more accurate models. Ether was also considered in early gravitational theories. Newton associated it with gravity, describing its circular motion and density gradients as the medium through which gravity acted. Agenda 21 is said to be a United Nations action plan for sustainable development. However, it has sparked a world of conspiracy theories and concerns. While its goal is to promote global sustainability, some see it as a scheme for a one-world government threatening individual freedom. These ideas have gained traction, especially among certain groups in the US who fear it could infringe on property rights and lead to population control. Critics argue that Agenda 21 represents too much global control and poses a threat to national sovereignty. But even without conspiracy theories, some find its language vague and its objectives concerning. It focuses on various groups, including children and indigenous peoples, raising concerns about its intentions. Plus, its emphasis on science and technology transfer hints at a top-down approach that worries some individuals. In a groundbreaking development in ground transportation, a convertible vehicle known as the Air Car has successfully completed a flight between two airports in Slovakia. Developed by Klein Vision, this innovative vehicle offers the unique ability to transition seamlessly from a road vehicle to an aircraft and back again. During its recent flight from Nitra to Bratislava, the Air Car demonstrated its capabilities by covering the distance in just 35 minutes. Upon landing, the vehicle transformed from an aircraft into a sports car in under three minutes with a simple push of a button. Its wings fold upwards and rearwards, while the twin boom tail retracts during the conversion process. Professor Stephen Klein, the inventor of the air car, hails the achievement as the beginning of a new era in transportation, one that restores the freedom of individual mobility. Powered by a BMW engine delivering 160 horsepower to a fixed propeller, the air car has already completed over 40 hours of test flights, reaching altitudes of 8,200 feet and speeds of 103 knots. Klein Vision's plans for the air car include a second prototype equipped with a more powerful 300 horsepower engine and a variable pitch propeller. The Akashic Field is a concept that suggests there is a pervasive energy or substance that fills the universe and contains information about everything that has ever happened. It's believed to be accessible through deep meditation, altered states of consciousness, or spiritual practices. Some people think it's a cosmic database that records all events, thoughts, and emotions throughout history. While the data is intriguing, it's not scientifically proven and remains a topic of interest in spiritual and metaphysical discussions. The Akashic Records are believed to be somewhat of a cosmic library containing all knowledge and experiences of every soul that has ever lived. It's thought that these records exist on a non-physical plane and can be accessed through certain states of consciousness or spiritual practice. The Akashic Field and Akashic Records are related concepts and are often used interchangeably, both suggest a repository of cosmic information containing records of all events, thoughts, and experiences. 
Some differentiate them by considering the Akashic field as an energetic medium that contains the records, while the Akashic records refer specifically to the information within the field. However, the distinction can vary depending on individual interpretations and beliefs. In Alaska, there's a region known as the Alaskan Triangle, known for its mysterious disappearances. Spanning across eastern Alaska, it covers various terrains, including wilderness, tundra, and mountain ranges. It's where many people and planes vanish without a trace. The disappearance rate here is nearly double the national average, and Alaska has the highest percentage of missing persons who are never found. While exact numbers are uncertain, it's estimated that thousands could be missing or deceased. The rugged landscape, extreme weather, and remote towns make it incredibly challenging to navigate. Numerous theories attempt to explain these disappearances, from mythical creatures to UFO sightings and secret structures. More grounded explanations include serial killings and the unforgivable wilderness. Search and rescue operations face unique challenges due to Alaska's vast size and hazards like exposure and drowning. Some scientists speculate that aliens might have their own unique version of the internet, dubbed the Galactic Internet. This hypothetical network could use gravity-boosted radio signals for interstellar communication. Gravitational lensing, a phenomenon where gravity bends light, could further enhance these signals, allowing efficient communication between stars. This idea isn't purely science fiction. It's based on the physics of gravitational lensing, applied to multiple alien civilizations in a galaxy. However, the distances required for this method of communication are truly immense, surpassing our current technological capabilities by far. Space scientist Claudio McCone warns that contacting advanced civilizations could be risky, as the evolutionary gap between us and a space colonizing species would likely be enormous. In essence, we may be completely insignificant to them. While discovering alien life remains a captivating idea, current efforts like SETI focus on listening for faint signals of alien traffic rather than direct messages to Earth. However, interpreting these signals amidst background noise presents significant challenges. Despite the difficulties, scientists like McCone argue that it is crucial to search for potential alien signals to avoid unexpected encounters, akin to historical events like the Aztecs encountering the conquistadors without warning. <laughs>